All right, if you're attempting to repair your motherboard, um, basically the most common things are that this NVIDIA uh, graphics chip heats up, um, it doesn't dissipate the heat well with the heat sink, and the solder joints crack. Now there's no way you can like see them and repair them, uh, so the most common procedure is to reflow it in an oven, or what you can do is use a heat gun. Uh, I don't think, uh, some people say online that you can use a hair dryer, but honestly I don't think that would get hot enough to do anything. Um, so you want to get a heat gun. Uh, for the oven method, basically what you're going to do is you're going to set the oven to 385, uh, let it heat up, get to 385, and then put the motherboard in it for 8 minutes, uh, and then shut the oven off, open the door, but leave it in there to cool slowly for maybe a half hour or so. Uh, but to prep the board for either procedure, you're going to want to clean off uh, any old uh, thermal paste. This is just some rubbing alcohol. I think it's like a dollar at Walmart. And just go ahead and clean this off. Depending on how old the laptop you're working on is, it can be pretty caked on there. So I'll just take some, take some elbow grease. But go ahead and get this nice and clean. And uh, it's also a good idea to remove all the stickers on the motherboard. Uh, that's kind of up to you, uh, but it'll make a big mess if you don't remove all the stickers that you can. So remove all the stickers if you've got the time. And then what you want to do is wrap the rest of the board in aluminum foil. So you'll want to cover this up cover this section up, this section and the CPU socket, just wrap it all around and just leave the graphics section um, exposed. That way you don't risk damaging any of the other parts. I, I've seen it, people do it incorrectly. Uh, these capacitors can pop, um, which obviously then destroyed your board. So go ahead and wrap everything up. So go ahead and get your board nice and clean. Okay, so I've got the board, uh, most of the stickers are off of it, I'm going to leave the serial numbers and stuff on it, um, but at this point you're either going to have a heat gun or you're going to have your oven preheat, preheated to 385. I'm going to use a heat gun so I don't need to use like uh, aluminum foil on everything, um, and I'll go ahead and I'll show you how uh, you do the heat gun method on something like this. I've had better success with the heat gun. Um, doing like PS3s and stuff like that, so that's why I'm going to use this method. If I can plug it in. Okay, so uh, some important things here when using this method are that you have to slowly heat the whole board. Okay. So you need to you need to get the whole board up to a certain temperature because if you go if you go and you just start like heating this area right here, um, what you're going to do is you're going to destroy your motherboard. So don't do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on low and I'm just going to slowly work the whole board to get it warm. And if you've ever like if you ever go to one of the factories that makes these, you'll see that they put these boards through multiple chambers uh, of increasing heat. And what that does is it uh, reduces defects. Okay, so you want to get it, get it warm. I like to go ahead and get the other side too. Now be careful on this underside, because if you get the underside too hot, what's going to happen is you're going to hear a couple of little planks hit this pan and what just happened is you uh, desoldered the capacitors from the motherboard. Okay, so just kind of get it, get it warm and you got to be really careful when you're handling this. It's actually kind of a bad idea to do it with one hand actually. Um, just because when you move the board that obviously increases the chances of you introducing more problems. So you want to go ahead and get it pretty warm. I mean, it's not going to be hot, obviously, but just get it warm. And then you're going to just kind of focus on this area, just like this. And 
And actually, now as I'm going, uh, it's probably a good idea for you to have like a window open or something because this thing's put off some fumes. You want to try and have the board as level as possible. So if you have something other than a frying pan, that's probably going to be better. But unfortunately, I don't have any baking pans here, which would be better. Again, you want to be careful of these capacitors. So if you heat them up too much, you'll just hear a hissing noise, and that will be the end of that capacitor. Okay, now unfortunately, this is not really an exact science unless you have one of the actual machines to do this, which are very expensive. They cost thousands of dollars. So, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to do this for a couple of minutes let it cool for a half hour, assemble everything again, and see if you fix the problem. That may be why a lot of people like the uh, oven method, because you can kind of say, put it in the oven for eight minutes and let it cool, and if it didn't fix it, then your motherboard is totally shot. But uh, I don't really like using the motherboard because, uh, I mean, I don't like using the oven because it kind of browns all these pieces and I don't know, I just like this method better. Okay. So once you've uh, uh, once you've got it done like this, you're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. Uh, not 15 minutes, really let it sit for 30 minutes because you want it done cooling off when you uh, go to put it back in. And yeah, it's gonna take, it might take you I mean, you might be able to fix it in one try. It might take you two tries, um, maybe more. Uh, maybe you could try the heat gun method and then the oven method. Um, in some cases, you just have to buy a new motherboard. So, but hopefully this fixes it for you. Um, I'll make another video on how to put everything back together. All right, so I went ahead and uh, did the heating method a couple of times and with some cooling cycles in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and start putting it back together. Uh, first thing you're wanna, going to want to do, of course, is put these stickers back on. So go ahead and get all those stickers back on and put the CPU back in nice and clean. All right, so I've got it uh, all put back together. Um, it's got some battery. Let's see if we fixed the motherboard. And it looks like we did. So, there we go. Thanks for watching.